So a quick message before we get started. What's the best way to take control of your health? To eat healthy on a consistent basis. That's why I created my cookbook, The Whole Food Revelation. From Sunday to Friday, for four weeks in a row, you'll have exactly what you need to get easy, gourmet whole food meals on the table. So eating real becomes a habit. That's the point. I've got a sample for you at beyondthepeel.net slash WFR. Head over and check it out. And until June 21st, it's 20% off. Just use the coupon code SUMMER when you check out. And here's today's episode. Welcome to TV Tuesdays. My name is France. I'm from Beyond the Peel, and thank you for joining us. Today, I want to show you something just so very simple. Um, they're chocolates that we make around our house that give us the nice sweet treat of having a yummy chocolate, but also has all the nutrients of uh, coconut oil. So I was sent this jar of Tropical Traditions Gold Label uh, coconut oil to review. Uh, really cool company. Um, I'm going to write about this in the post, so check that out for all the feedback on what I think about this product. But let's go into the recipe. So, um, super easy. For those of you who've been following whole food diets for a while, know that you should be uh, trying to consume a tablespoon, two tablespoons a day of coconut oil for various health reasons. So, um, if it's not your cup of tea to just eat a spoonful of coconut oil, this is a fantastic way of doing it and still getting a little bit of your chocolate fix. So um, I'll get on with it. This is already all prepped, ready to go, so it'll take like a minute to put together. But if you actually were to do it at home, you know, pull the coconut oil out of the cupboard and get your raw cocoa and all that stuff takes two minutes. So not that much faster. So I've melted some coconut oil. Um, I've got half a cup there and I melted some honey. My sister sent me some nice unpasteurized honey. I had to soften it a little bit because it had crystallized. And just mix that in there. Now, oil and honey in this respect, they like to separate, so we're gonna whisk it quite a bit to get it to um, be a consistent um, texture when we go to pour it into the molds. And I also have a really cool trick for you today that you can use for almost any recipe. So I'll get into that next. There's my honey. And this is the cool part. Use a tea strainer to declump anything. So if you ever have like, you're using some type of icing sugar, you need cocoa, um, Yakon powder was originally the sweetener in this recipe. I've tried it, it's a little too grainy for me. If you have clumps in your Yakon powder, clumps in your maca powder, um, good for adrenal health, this is the magic trick and I'll just show you. It just sifts it beautifully. I also use my yogurt maker as uh, for the same reason when I, um, I'm gonna switch hands here. Uh, when I'm making like larger things, when I need a larger measuring cup, so. Isn't that great? No clumps. Works fantastic. I'm just gonna whisk that up. And mostly I'm gonna be looking to make sure that my honey is mixed into the oil throughout. Now it depends on what sweetener you decide to use. You can use anything you like, really. Stevia, maple, yakon powder, um, really anything. Um, it's your choice, but the honey, maple syrup, those types of things won't like to mix very well. It's like oil and water. So anyway, I'm going to pour it in. Oh, I've got a little tray of goodies here. I wanted to make mine nice. So I have some walnuts in some of them. I've got almonds in some of them. And I like to make a few that are trail mix. This is actually my favorite. So pumpkin seeds and sesame seeds and sunflower seeds. And I put a little currants in there. And then, while I'm pouring, I'm whisking, you know, or trying to as best as I can just to get the honey mixed evenly throughout. Let's fill those babies up. I'm using a silicone mini muffin tray, but you can use a silicone ice cube tray, but 
The silicone part is fairly mandatory as you have like some pliable uh, mold or you could use the little papers too, little candy papers for tarts, tart shells, that kind of stuff. Okay, that's it. Throw those in the fridge, freezer, 15, 20 minutes, max half an hour is all it takes, depending on how hot. Um, you got the coconut oil when you start it out. This is what they look like. Aren't they beautiful? So simple, so easy, you know, and they're all different flavors, and uh, they look a little different on the opposite side, but um, they're really beautiful. And I throw them in the fridge or freezer, and we can have one a day as a nice little treat. It's a little sweet, a little cocoa, uh, lots of good health properties of raw cocoa, so if you can get your hands on that, I recommend that product. And, uh, and then you can use something like this that um, has all the health benefits, the antioxidants of a really high quality um, coconut oil. There's lots of other companies out there that also produce one. Um, we use the expeller pressed um, coconut oil where we don't really want a lot of coconut flavor when we're cooking, but for something like this, it's perfect. So I hope you uh, will give these little yummy simple chocolates a try in your household. Thanks for joining us and have a great day.